Great stuff. Hello, hello. Welcome to the Amido Show. Hello, Judith. Hi, hi, Joe. Lovely to hi. see you. Oh, you too, you too. And thank you for tuning in, viewers, to day, oh, I lost track now. I think it's day six, it must be, um, of this kind of continuation of um, just videos for um, just people that have something that they can offer right now to. Uh, help a lot of people that are uh, stuck at home like we all are so and they all happen to be friends of mine um like judith here that i've known for a long time and we'll come on to that in a minute but um they i'm doing this for just 21 days just so that there are uh, there's just some information there that is really comes from the heart because there's lots of information that we're being fired at with at the moment statistics and negative comments and you know news this news that um hopefully these little shows are just a, a nugget of something different that is just right what can i do right now um and uh, and today i'm very thrilled to have you judith um coming all the way from bristol Brampton cottrell Brampton cottrell yeah and i have to say i love your earrings i have earring envy <laughs> They were a special present from my daughter, Wendy, and she got them from um, High Grove, which is you know, where the Prince of Wales is, and they're beech leaves that have been dipped in silver. So, so oh, very... that's so lovely. Wow. So you actually are wearing real leaves. Mm, yeah. I have double envy now. That's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to get myself some. <laughs> Oh, well, you look very well. We, last time we saw each other, it was a while ago, wasn't it? It was a while ago now. It must, have, must be 13 years ago. Mm. Gosh, that's a long time, isn't it? Yeah. But you don't look any different, Joe. You still look brilliant. <laughs> Too kind. Well, thank goodness for a bit of makeup, hey? <laughs> oh, so you very kindly, you were just absolutely amazing. In fact, I put a post on um, Facebook this morning just how when I was in... Gosh, I can easily take myself back there, but I won't do. But um, I was in a very, very terrible and shocked state when um, I last, when I first saw you, when I last saw you, if you know what I mean, because um, I just lost my dad and I was absolutely devastated. Um, so, um, yeah, because you are the reverend of French A Church, but you are retired now, aren't you, kind of? Kind of, but there's no such thing, Joe. No such thing as retirement. <laughs> But it's a different kind of busy, and I can say no these days. But I'm still kept quite busy with funerals. Ah, oh. the graveside service in the churchyard on Friday, which um, you know is is a, an unusual experience. But the weather was beautiful, and people were very good. They all did their spacing, you know, so that and uh, it was just such a perfect way if you can have a perfect way the birds were singing you know that all the spring flowers were out which is so beautiful and in the distance the sound of the the few children who are still at school just across the way you know in the in the school there the sounds of them playing in the in the um, in the playground and just prayers on the air you know it was it was quite special oh that sounds wonderful uh, because you you know your your the setting of your church i mean i think i do i'm a bit biased i know but i think your church is the most beautiful i mean it, it doesn't get much better i don't think i mm. think it's absolutely mm. breathtaking inside and out mm. some are full on the outside and then when you kind of get in um it's kind of not not quite so nice um but uh, yeah, I think yeah, yours, your church is, is particularly gorgeous and, um, and you're, you're set on the French A Common, which is, if people don't know, sorry, I'm just having a few technical issues, but you can still hear me, can't you? Yes, yes. Okay, the, the, the picture, um, there we go. I think um, Zoom, like many things, uh, is, is in demand at the moment and uh, glitches a little bit now and, now and again. So um, yeah, French A Church is right, right on the middle of French A Common. You have this beautiful, expansive common, uh, lovely, um, all the chest horse chestnut trees, aren't they, behind mm -hmm. by, by the mm -hmm. school and the pub? Um, but yeah, lovely, lovely setting. So um, yeah, and how, how has it been for you since, uh, since the start of this incredible uh, time? 
Well, it, it, life is different, isn't it? it? It's more solitary and less time, time to think, time to pray, time to talk. Technology has been absolutely fantastic because, you know, you've got that uh, Facebook, you've got emails, all people communicating in all sorts of ways, very positively. Prayers, uh, thoughts, kindness, offers of help. Um, Neighbours have been really kind to us. And, and that's quite moving, really, particularly when you're in a situation where you're usually the one who's offering to care and, and to do things, you know, to have others to, to offer help to you. It's quite moving, really. Um, we've got our family, our daughter's still living uh, locally and our son's not far away in South Wales. Um, so we've, we have got people close. Yeah. But um, yeah, this, I had, I'd say I had this funeral and um, just trying to keep in touch with people, particularly uh, people who are isolated and, and on their own. Yeah, that, I think that must be, and it, you know, if you are elderly and not into tech or haven't, you know, there might, there's probably quite a lot of um, elderly people by themselves that thought, oh yeah, I'll get around to that one day and, and possibly just didn't get around to it. And, you know, I, I was walking to the last shop um, visit I did just before the lockdown came and there was, I walked past some flats and there was a lady in her window with the net drawback, which is ground floor of a big block of flats just looking out and just just sort of engaging with the world in the only way she can I suppose by just looking out the window and so mm. I got the girls to wave and say you're okay she, yeah she was so cheerful she was like the chirpiest thing you know and just having a great time just watching the world go by and and um yeah I, 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 my heart goes out to her. hopefully you just hope that they have someone that is reaching out to them and uh, keeping mm. keep in touch right now don't you it's just having but I think we've been so blessed last week, haven't we, with the weather. It's just been glorious. The sunshine and the, the you know, signs of spring. Uh, it, it, it's been so helpful, really. It just makes you realise that whatever suffering's going on, you know, creation continues with its pattern, with its rich pattern and all the colours. The birds are busy. The birds um, are so busy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had our first buzzard over Ealing the other day, oh, and buzzards wow. haven't been seen seen here for decades. Um, you know, it just and that's like another thing, another part of the nature story, isn't it? That nature really recovers the dolphins in Venice, the Venice canals. Nature co recovers so quickly, and it's so forgiving, isn't it? Mm. It's almost mm. like it just suddenly goes, okay, we, we 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 like we like this again. We'll come back and we'll trust you again. Mm. emotional talking about this like you know I, it, the what the way we have um disrupted nature mm. is mm. devastating mm. yeah you're right though and i, I must admit it did, occurred to me the other day because i get i don't like the winters at all i was like my dad in that way you know i, I love brightness and sunshine and i i want to uh, escape somewhere sunnier at some point in the future um but i think if this had happened say november you know or even like the beginning of january this wouldn't have been so easy definitely for me to deal with because I get claustrophobic anyway and, I, and the darkness and thank goodness, you know, in a way, you know, if, if, if I, I don't mean it literally, but at least it happened now mm. for us here. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, mm. so I'll, I'll see. It, it's a strange thing not to be able to worship in community. Um, and I, I do definitely, I do miss that. We've just, in fact, we've just listened to songs of praise on the television. My husband's an organist, and so he's always particularly interested in the singing. But Stephen Cottrell was talking, and lovely, lovely message on there for, about uh, the woman who touched the hem, Jesus's hem, mm. and was healed. And she was sort of isolated, really. Mm. Um, oh, so yes, yeah. It just, it's just uh, remembered it now, yeah, yeah. Yeah, music's great, isn't it? So, and there's been some good worship on television and on the radio. We listen to the, um, on a Wednesday afternoon, there's, the Eden song comes through 
so there's lovely organ music on that as well as as the liturgy and the prayers and the bible readings so we're joining in the best that we can and uh, sharing i've got i've got a, a prayer if you'd like me to read it at some stage that um, I would love that at the end. So that'd be wonderful. Yeah, that would be lovely. We'd re I'd really, really appreciate that, and I'm sure the viewers would as well. Yeah, fantastic. Um, yeah, you know, I I heard something fascinating about organ music the other day. Um, a friend of mine plays organ as well, and a study has actually been done into the power of a music from an organ because it's so multi multifaceted. There's so many layers to organs. The organ music, the, what an organ produces, rather than like a piano. Um, apparently, the energy of all those different sounds combined is so impactive. Mm. Um, and this this composer, I think it was in Austria, was saying, if every person, and maybe this is the time to do it. Goodness me, if ever there was the time. But he was saying, if every person in the church went into a church who could play the organ and played the ch church music on an organ for for the area just played the music just literally just open the doors and played the music the the vibration of that sound would was resonate for miles mm -hmm. amazing i mean wouldn't that be amazing judith if you, yeah. you know, if, if on 11, 11 o'clock on a sunday every church around our beautiful nation all these beautiful churches like yours the organs all played at the same time mm. Mm. The same song, same time, eleven o'clock on a Sunday morning. Oh, mm. Can you imagine? It's like, in a way, when they ring the bells for a special thing, isn't it? Sometimes they they have a coordinated ring uh, from all the towers, and that's that's it's very powerful. When we, it's when we do things together, it's kind of community, isn't it? Really, when we're all sharing the same experience or having the you know same thoughts. And and we we this it just helps that feeling of a, of loneliness, doesn't it? That we yeah. there is someone else that when I did the clap the other day, um, yes. I took my um I took my horn. I've got a, an old car horn, you know that sound. And the girls had the saucepan, so we were definitely yeah. the noisiest street in the house. But there's nothing new there, really. Oh. And we, we all went into, out into the street. Gosh, goodness me, it was so emotional. Oh gosh, I I think that would be a wonderful. Thing. Maybe I'll speak to my friend who plays and say, come on, you, can you organise this? He's, he plays at my local, my church in my old village in Oxfordshire, in Great Haisley. Um, beautiful church there, Norman Church. And he is incredible, incredibly talented. So I might just drop him a line and say, there you go to him. If, in case you're bored, maybe you could sort this one out. <laughs> I love that idea. I just love that idea. Music is so powerful. Yeah. We're gonna, so we're going to have... Um, I'm not sure what when when it's going to be. Maybe um, tomorrow night when it's a bit warmer, when it warms up again. We're going to have at seven o'clock. All of us are going to come out onto into our front gardens, um, and one of our neighbours has a seriously crazy big loud sound system, and we're going to have an hour of music mm. out in the street. Gonna mm. have dance dancing in the street, but not quite in the street. More on your doorstep. <laughs> mm. Yeah, great. It's, I mean, life is all about relationships, isn't it? It's all about getting on with people, um, learning that whatever happens, we can't, we do need others. We do need others. Even when we can't physically touch them, to know that they're thinking about us. There's a lovely prayer that says, when we pray for those who have no one else to pray for them, so that People are covered in prayer, even when they're not knowing it. Absolutely. The energy of the thought, isn't it? It, it resonates and it keep, just keeps going um, and, and it can be received for sure. Yeah. Yeah. No, lovely. Well, thank you so much for coming on today. And we're going to have a catch up afterwards, aren't we? Because um, yeah. yeah. I'd love to hear what else is happening with you. But, um, but we, um, if you could finish with just a prayer for today, that would be we'd be so grateful and perhaps I could have you back on again sort of in a few weeks maybe if you don't mind Judith and well if if I pass muster well that's true you know we'll have to see you have to th think about that one I'd love to have you back on back on and um you know I think that never more than ever do we need some collective thought and just moments of stillness to 
mm. to value um, what we can do and be right now. So thank you. Right, so it's called An Expression of Faith. Lord, you have always given bread for the coming day. And though I am poor, today I believe. Lord, you have always given strength for the coming day. And though I am weak, today I believe. Lord, you have always given peace for the coming day. And though of anxious heart, today I believe. Lord, you have always kept me safe in trials. And now tried as I am, today I believe. Lord, you have always marked the road for the coming day. And though it may be hidden, today I believe. Lord, you have always lightened this darkness of mine. And though the night is here, today I believe. Lord, you have always spoken when the time is right. And though you be silent, today I believe. God bless you, Jo. Oh, God bless you. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye.